Hi, I'm Nicole Lara Petit USA, Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here. And I'm here with Katie Bednarski. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, so I am 22 years old. I'm the director of outreach at One Heart for Women and Children. And today, what we're doing today is giving out about 55,000 pounds of food to the community. And I'm really excited. It's going to be a great event. Wow. How long have you been doing, like, all of the giveaway stuff for? Yeah, so we've been doing this mobile food drop specifically for about a year now. It started at the very beginning of the pandemic last year. So we've been doing it once a month, the third Wednesday of each month. Hmm. Nice. What other things do you do? Yeah, so at One Heart for Women and Children, our primary mission is feeding and mentoring the community and through whatever adversity they're facing, whether it's homelessness, addiction, domestic violence, we're just really there to make people feel seen, valued, and heard. So that's our primary mission at One Heart for Women and Children. And we do our normal food distribution throughout the week as well. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we probably serve about 100 to 150 cars each day. You mean cars? Yeah, cars with families in them. Oh. <laughs> How do we connect with you? Yeah, you can connect with us by liking and following us on Facebook at One Heart for Women and Children or following us on Instagram at One Heart Matters or by just reaching out on our page, which is OneHeartForWomenAndChildren.org. Hmm. Do you have any volunteer yeah. volunteers? We'd love to have some volunteers, absolutely. We need about 100 volunteers for this event, which is once a month, and then we'd love to have just some volunteers come by each week and just help us with our normal food distribution. Hmm. Where are we at today? We are at Camping World Stadium. Hi, I'm Nicole Laura Petit, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... Farron Lerner. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yes, I am the event coordinator here at One Heart for Women and Children, meaning that I make sure that everything is put on for One Heart. I make sure that everything is set up correctly at these events, and I make sure that the community comes together to work together. Hmm. How long have you been doing that? I have been with One Heart since July last year. I actually lost my job because of the pandemic in July and I started volunteering at One Heart full time and now I am there every day and I love it. I think we I think we saw uh, at the event at Desertland we saw one of uh, Stephanie? It was Stephanie. Yes, and Stephanie was there. So we saw her there. It was nice to see her. Yes. And... Do you love Miss Stephanie? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? What are we doing today? So today we are hosting our first mobile food drop of the year. All the food is provided by our partner Second Harvest. Uh, we love hosting them at Camping World because it gives us enough space for how much outreach we do. We hope to have at least 500 cars come through. Right now we have over 50,000 pounds of food that's getting dropped off by Second Harvest. And that 50,000 pounds of food is going to turn into thousands of meals. Those thousands of meals are going to get enjoyed by families all over Orlando to eat together, share together, and we have our volunteers, our wonderful volunteers in Orlando helping us make that happen. Just like you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole Laura Petit, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... I'm George Bowman. I'm with One Heart for Women and Children. My wife Stephanie, my wife Stephanie founded One Heart. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Well, I drive the truck and I fix things and I do everything that needs to be done over at One Heart to help it keep running. And I just support Stephanie and all the people that work at One Heart. How long have you been doing that for? Well, I was in business and I sold my business just before the COVID hit. And once the COVID hit, I started working and helping her out because I'm semi-retired. I got my honeydew list that I got to do for her. How long has Stephanie been doing? 
how long have Miss Stephanie been doing that for? She's been doing it for 13 years now. It started out of our house and now she's grown to where we've got the big facility over on Rio Grande, North Rio Grande Road. What are we doing today? Nice. What are we doing today? Today we have a mobile food drop and we should have somewhere between 230 to 250 cars come through. We normally have between 70 and 80,000 pounds of food that we'll put out to the community in about two and a half hours. And since the pandemic has started, we've supplied enough food for well in excess of three million meals. Wow. <laughs> How do we get, get in touch with you? Well, you can go on the website, which is www.com help or, or oneheart.org and that's got the phone number where you can call and get in touch with either Farron, Stephanie or Katie. Okay. Do you have a tip to share with the world? Yes I do. Somebody told me some time ago that if you think a little bit more of someone else than you do yourself you're going to have a really wonderful day. <laughs>